Hello, welcome to another week of this insane reality we have found ourselves in. Um, yeah. We're going to try to break it down with uh, what <laughs> sense have. we have. But Yeah, it's all Trump this week. <laughs> Every Literally everything is influenced by him. Other yeah. shit happened, but we're not going to talk about that shit. Like, we're seriously yeah. trying hard every week to think about how we could not talk about Trump, but it's just... Yeah. And also shootings, but those we just don't talk about. Yeah. Yeah. And, again, this week, it's, uh... We're, we're getting tested. Yeah. It's like it's... three fucking things. But into this less... Less... Less dangerous... Less immediately dangerous shit... Shit, I fucked this up completely. Yeah. Wait, we're gonna transfer from Jerusalem, yeah. <laughs> from the the sad reality of yeah, of life to of you know, like nah, both of them are pretty mass fucking, shootings to uh, the death of of like forty percent. Both of them are pretty fucking Palestinians. Bad. Yeah, I probably and, shouldn't have tried to lessen that shit, but honestly, fuck it. We're talking about Jerusalem. If you can't handle it, turn off the fucking screen. I don't know why people can't handle it. It's a fucking conversation, but. The, the shit that's happened now is that America's opened an embassy. They're moving the embassy from Tel Aviv, where it was previously, to Jerusalem. And that's basically, that's that's putting America on the side of Israel. Like, Well, yeah, as Trump put it, moving the yeah. capital to Jerusalem was just a recognition of reality. Isn't yeah. that what he said? Or a confirmation but of reality But that's not what you're supposed to say. Most, most, people are, most people are painting it as just efficient and just makes life easy, easier because Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Not recognized by the whole world, but like in that country, that's the capital. And moving it there says that America believes it's the capital. Mm -hmm. And even though America does a lot of shit there, having the they had a consulate in, in Jerusalem. Well, yeah, and that's basically and, the thing. It's yeah. just they basically like switched the placard yeah. on the building. Most, most countries so like, did that too. Yeah most, so. yeah, most countries had just consulates in Jerusalem and embassies in Tel Aviv. Because of the whole Iran, Palestine, fucking Jerusalem shit. But now after they did that, there were protests on the border. On the Gaza Strip. And the Israeli forces killed a bunch of motherfuckers. Just straight up killed them. And well, yeah. And so, I mean, this isn't new. This has been going on. Yeah. These protests have been going on for a while. Months. Like, they've been burning tires. Like, throwing homemade explosives. Um... And it's just been really... Because, like, it's one of those situations where it's, like, hard to... It looks like a lot of the... Probably majority of the time it is peaceful protests. But then there are... Nah, these... but now they're like, nah, don't fucking put... Because that's that's one of the big things. Like, the, the war is not only about Jerusalem, but a lot of it is about Jerusalem. And doing that, the world's biggest power doing that is basically picking a side in the battle that's not theirs to interfere in. This is between Israel and Palestine. I don't know who's right, who's wrong, but low key, it's still battle. And Israel just pulled a dick move by by letting America do this. Because basically, this is what they want. Because yeah. once America does it, other countries are gonna do it, and it's already started happening. Have you seen this clip where it's like Trump during the campaign, how he like goes through this like long explanation about how you need to talk to both sides and the only way mm -hmm. you can make peace is if everybody's happy, including that's, Jerusalem that's and their neighbors. But then right at the end, he's like, but of course I support Jerusalem yeah. or I support Israel 100%. And it's just, <laughs> just like clear, Why? like it just it back, undid everything you just said. So it's just like clearly you're... And yeah, I mean, I think the Middle East recognizes that Trump isn't really trying to hide it. And I mean, yeah. but this uh, this shit is bad because you know you know Israel has a thing with Iran, thinking that they're funding the rebels, the protesters and shit, and they're funding terrorism. And after Trump pulled out the Iran Iran deal, it basically just cements that Trump is full on. Not not just not just that America can back out of shit. It cements that Trump is full on Jerusalem, Israel. So he's on Team Israel full on, and that 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 paints a bad picture in the world. Because if Iran actually is doing that shit, and then you actually punish them too by taking away the sanctions when they appear to be doing everything right, like increasing sanctions when they appear to be doing everything right, is just stoking the flames of war for no fucking reason. Because you're pissing off one side in a war that you should you shouldn't even be involved in, and I think that's just wild. The fact that he's doing that shit, he doesn't give a fuck. 
and apparently evangelicals love it because they want to they think that like that acknowledging that jerusalem is the capital of israel is going to bring about the rapture or some shit no who says that evangelicals oh uh, fucking weird ass they, people they always just need a rapture like there's always got to be like, one coming otherwise is your like, life so sad that you because if if you believe in god he put us on this earth to to do the best we can whilst we're here and then go you're not supposed to wish for death because loki that's what you're doing you you you're like yo my life is so perfect that i should get into heaven nah this shit needs to happen now so i can get into heaven right fucking now like what the fuck is that that's pretty much i think you just broke it down like that's how it is for them like you they just yeah they're like they're set like convinced that they're gonna get into heaven so like fuck this life they don't really need it and they are just looking forward to that point where god comes down and like like most of them would not even get into heaven to everyone else because a lot of them are racist fucked up people you're not going to go to heaven if you're a fucking shitty person like a lot of them probably will but a lot of them are definitely going to hell like they're going to purgatory shit i might but like it might be justified for me and I, at least i would understand it they think they're going to heaven that's going to be worse than just going yeah, to hell yeah it's going to be a hell of a wake up call yeah because you're in hell you didn't expect to be there it's like your parents telling you to take you to six flags and you end up at the fucking dentist that's 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 a low blow like you could have just told me we're going to fucking Chuck E. Cheese or some shit. Like kind of a similar play. situation though. It's like your parents just lied to you. Yeah. But in this yeah. case about, you know. Nah, but them, is they lie the to themselves. The metaphysical world. <laughs> they lie to themselves about where they might be going. Shit. But. So fucking stupid. <laughs> Damn, this, this is so fucking stupid. Anyway, whilst they were, they were unveiling the new but old fucking embassy slash consulate, People were getting killed on the on the strip, and there was this picture that you probably put up now, where there's a juxtaposition of Ivanka fucking Trump, and then the people getting shot at. No, no, no. Somebody with a fucking ping pong, um, like racket, not ping pong, table tennis, tennis racket. He smack smacking back a fucking tear gas canister. That dude was a badass. That shit was Whoa, badass. Man. Yeah. The photographers in those areas, like they they deserve the fucking world. They do the most. Like photographers in any protest or anything, like to fucking stay still, people running around you. You have a big ass fucking camera trying yeah. to take one shot for like two hundred dollars. Is is that is it really worth it? Low key, the pictures are amazing, but like, fuck that. They they deserve the world, man. Those are some brave ass motherfuckers. Anyway, that picture was dope. So yeah, and then talking about other Trump descendants, fucking Trump Jr. He's got into a shit ton of trouble. Because apparently he made a phone call that you break it down. You, well, yeah. You know so during the election, the infamous meeting with... The, Algarov. The... <laughs> the... the um, oligarch. It's, yeah. Whatever his name is. The Russian dude. Yeah. You know what he looks like. We'll put a picture of him probably. Is that that Russian dude? I don't... Yeah. His yeah. son is a pop star. Which... Yeah, <laughs> that seems like some shit from a fucking movie. That infamous meeting now that Trump or Trump Jr. met with, uh, goddamn, fuck the guy's name. Algaro. I got a little rough. I can't say it. It's hard. Um, a Galero. So there was a. He made a call. Oh yeah, he made a call to him, and then he made another call to an unknown number, mm-hmm. which. It like just so happens that Trump's like office number at his at Trump Tower is like uh, is like blocked or whatever, and then uh, then right after that call he called back. So they got the call records of this, and then Trump Jr. had to I guess testify to Congress in a Senate Judiciary Committee, which they released, um, which Trump Trump Jr. said he could not recall. Yeah. Who he talked to. He doesn't he, remember who he, he, he said, talked to. He said he could not recall 54 fucking things. And Loki, like, this is just more of the same shit that happens with the Trump people. So it's kind of a non-story, even though he's in a shit ton of trouble. But the thing that makes it interesting is the shit he can't recall. Because he can't recall the eighth person that was in the meeting. He can't recall the attendees. He, he said he... he doesn't remember if he actually talked to Emin, the pop star dude. He doesn't remember um, whether he talked to to Algorov about 
some email he doesn't recall when he got the email he doesn't re recall wh where he was at the time that the email was sent if he was traveling or he was at home he doesn't recall even getting an email he doesn't recall setting up an email no not email setting up a meeting with the russians he doesn't recall who he spoke to from the block number he, i'm gonna keep doing this for a long time he doesn't recall talking to paul manafort that was on June 7th. He doesn't recall talking to Paul Manafort two days before June 7th. He doesn't recall speaking to Manafort on June 28th. He doesn't recall talking to his dad. He sounds like he smokes a lot of weed. <laughs> like he is, he is baked all the, the time. time. Like they need to actually probably drug test him because if he yeah. can't recall, he literally any couldn't picture, recall everything. Was... Like there's still 40 questions that I have, 40 things he can't recall. I'm not going to read that shit, but look it up yourself if you want to find out what Trump doesn't recall. Like, he probably doesn't recall his little brother's fucking name at this point, but shit. Yeah, and so, basically, I don't know. Some people are saying smoking gun. That, that term's been thrown around a few times before. But just, as we say on the show all the time, Mueller is, uh, he's like six months ahead of us. So yeah. he's but was probably, this a Mueller thing? Uh, well, yeah, because <clears throat> the meeting is oh. being investigated, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this release isn't, this was just released by the S oh, Senate committee. okay. Yeah. Well, any, like, this is probably a big story, but my mind is a non-story. Because... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, the Trump administration like not is, recalling yeah. on something yeah. that they don't want to admit. That's, yeah. that's... Like, the thing. rules, <laughs> the rules are actually different for them. For no reason. Like, we've all just accepted that he can get away with pretty much anything. Well, yeah, and uh, speaking of the Mueller investigation and not getting or getting like, away with everything. Key, if that's if what, it wasn't for that, like, we, he would be able to do whatever the fuck. Like, if Mueller wasn't calming him down just a little bit, <laughs> like, with the threat of, like, yo, we're watching you. Like, yeah. Trump would be going crazy right now. He's, oh, already, he's already going yeah. crazy. Like, nah, shit is wild. Anyway, you were saying something. Uh, what was I saying? Um, something about... Well, it's been a year since the Mueller investigation started. Oh, okay. So that's a thing. Um, but... No, I don't know. I fucking forgot what I was going to say. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Rudy Giuliani has been going around saying that... On news shows this week. Saying that the president can't get indicted because... It was determined. Man, Rudy, that the, needs to shut the fuck which up. Which exactly, yeah, nah. it's like that you're not even debating whether he's innocent. You're just saying he nah. can't get indicted. Nah. Like, Who, did you hear that? Rudy, and he Rudy, said that like Rudy, Rudy got in got in an accident with a pedicab. Oh, I think yeah. I did hear Shit. that. I hope the pedicab driver is cool. Cause fuck Rudy Giuliani. I hope he died, but he clearly did it. Fucking. But yeah, so he's he's just saying like basically look at precedent. And Richard Nixon wasn't indicted, and neither was Bill Clinton. And that you can't indict Trump. <laughs> like, that's basically their argument, is saying, like, you just go ahead and try, because you're not, it's not even legally, you can't even... It's, it's too stupid. Which, we actually have talked about this on a former episode. We talked about how even if the Mueller investigation, if it, even if it's like, reveals just how fucked up we all know it is, it still just gets handed off, like a memo basically gets handed off to the Attorney General, whoever that yeah, happens to be at the time, if it is still Jeff Sessions. So, Jeff Sessions gets to decide actually, what's in the best interest of America. Not necessarily, because it, it, I think the lifespan of this whole shit, Trump shit, is going to be four years. Because if, if that happens in these four years, and, and Jeff Sessions decides to do nothing about it, everybody knows still what happened. So yeah. you're gonna they're gonna talk a bunch of shit, protest. It's gonna be fucking hell. Like the house is gonna go to shit because people are not gonna want to vote. Like people are gonna be calling their reps non stop. It's gonna cause a shit storm, shit storm, and even Trump might not be able to get out of that. We we, we don't know. He yet. might yeah. if if he doesn't start his campaign rallies again. But he just you know his ego cannot overcome. That's like his fucking yeah. favorite thing yeah. about if, being if, president. If he, if he like. starts the campaign again and he starts <laughs> to throw more flames on the fire. Which you know he's going to because yeah, because he just straight up lose. Yeah, yeah. He bro. just can't resist. Anyway, Trump also can't resist fucking plugging ZTE, <laughs> which is apparently a corrupt Chinese tech manufacturer who sell the shittiest products. 
like literally the shittiest ones yeah if you've ever been on like cricket wireless or virgin mobile which i have for several years you know you know all about zte they make some shitty phones that also apparently spy on you so yeah. there's i guess an investigation i think fbi and like cia i don't know there's like multiple government yeah. agencies that have alleged that zte was like oh. selling their data to the Chinese government or, right. were, or just giving it to them or something. They were actually banned by the Commerce Department for seven years. So they are oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so they make shitty phones that spy on you. And they also are a Chinese company and Trump wants to help them because they lost a lot of jobs with all this, all this bullshit the U.S. has been throwing at them. Come on. Like, <laughs> Which makes no like. I know. Like, seriously. Oh yeah. This is this is by the tweet. Yeah. Um, so if you recall, you know, during the campaign, how much did Trump Trump talk about China and how many jobs China say? Like he probably said that a thousand times during the campaign, but then just he meets with. Oh, and he also kept talking about how Trump is America and President Xi is China and like. He has China's interest. Trump has America's interest. So it, it seemed like pretty clear to everybody what the, what Trump's stance was on that until all of a sudden this tweet comes out. President Xi of China and I are working together to give a mass to give massive Chinese phone company ZTE a way to get back into business fast. Too many jobs in China lost. Which that part is right there. Too many jobs in China. Like what? But they shouldn't be a lot. Like they they was fucking spying. And then people. Commerce Department has been instructed to get it done. So the Commerce Department, who you just said, actually is banned. banned so they're gonna have <laughs> now to... they've been instructed to get it done. Yeah. Like, what well, people, people, people were like, what the fuck, yo? Like, everybody was like, yo, chill well, I just wonder what, what his base, I mean, I don't know if they even read his tweets, but like... Nah, they do. What would who, they... who else do you think likes that shit 25,000 times? Yeah, yeah, true. Like, who the fuck else? But too many jobs in China lost. Like what, Trump? What are you on? Honestly, this you should like. Like oh, China's been stealing our jobs, and now we're and spying on us. I don't I, even think China's just, been stealing anybody's blunt. jobs. They well, just, no, according to Trump, I mean, oh, like in his that's his yeah. his whole thing. You can't steal fucking like if if that was the case. All the people that have been deported, why aren't the fucking people from Middle America come to take their jobs? Why isn't there a fucking person from Ohio shucking fucking clams in Rhode Island right now? Like, nah. Nobody's taking your jobs. If it was meant to be your job, you would have the job. You don't fucking want those jobs anyway. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I think that's, like, a very solid argument against, like, Trump's rationale. But it's I'm just so saying, stupid. in his rationale, in his basis rationale, so that's, stupid. like, all they complain about is how China's stealing our jobs. I thought it was also Mexicans. But then, yeah... Yeah, China and Mexicans. Yeah. Like, China's stealing our industry. Well, I guess Mexico is, too. Like, they built some, like, factories, car yeah. plants and whatnot. But... You, you people but no, now, now Mexicans now buy get... cars, too? Yeah. Like, South America fucking buys cars, too. People were criticizing it because apparently China wrote a list of demands that they want from the U.S. And the ZTE thing was one of them. And so that's like another thing. Trump, like, all through the campaign, is like always puts on this persona that he's like such a good deal maker and like how he's gonna be a, such a tough bargainer. But then it's like he immediately like threw this to China and was like, oh yeah, we'll get you back in business fast. I'll just direct the department that has banned your yeah, product to, to get right shit. on it. Like, so fucking stupid. So it's just wild. It's a, I don't even know. I mean, honestly. Trump and G are probably like. Nah, Trump thinks Z is his best friend. Z doesn't fuck with him. He, yeah, Xi Jinping. He doesn't fuck with him. Yeah. He's fucking using this dumbass fucking <laughs> white dude to fight himself, which is what, no offense, most Asian people do anyway. Because low key, no offense again. <laughs> like, it, if, for instance, in UW, if you see an Asian dude and then a white dude, who the fuck do you, no offense again. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck do you think is smarter? And who do you think is using who? Loki, you might be the white dude trying to think he's using the Asian dude, but the Asian dude is really using him. Yeah. Nah. See, nah. And I'm, I'm sure that, that, that China did try and bribe... Either China tried to bribe him 
by saying like do the zte shit and then we will do will like reduce the deficit or the trade surplus or trump owns some fucking stocks in zte because who the fuck gives a fuck about zte which american has thought about zte in the last fucking five years Unless you're not fucking on food stamps or some shit. No offense again. <laughs> Honestly, fuck it. Let's end the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trump did some shit this week. It was dumb. That's it. That's literally the gist. The too long didn't read or didn't watch. Trump did dumb yeah. shit. We're talking about the dumb shit and it's over. So, <laughs> bye. Enjoy yeah. this dumbass video. More dumb to come next week. Yeah.